Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab and today's video, which is going to be my FabFitFun unboxing. This is my summer FabFitFun. It is a completely unsponsored video. I purchased it myself and I just like to unbox it on my channel with you. If you're new to my channel, I'm Jodi. Thank you for joining me today. Now let's get started. I have not opened my box. I actually got it pretty early this time around. Usually I get it much later in the season and I've seen like a thousand and one unboxings, but that hasn't been the case this time. And so I thought, let me go ahead and unbox it on my channel. I know some things that I'm going to be getting in the box since it is customizable to a certain extent I'm not like a premium member or anything like that I just get the select few customizations that you can do as a basic member so here's what it looks like and what is inside so this book it looks like a magazine but it's really like the insert that tells you everything that comes in the box and the other variations that you could have gotten there's usually a couple of articles in there as well this time they feature eva longoria and she looks lovely so here are the different possible variations i'm going to keep this handy so i can tell you the retail prices of the items the first item in the box is the intelligent nutrients refining micro polish according to the insert this retails for 57 dollars and i believe it is an exfoliator this one says it is a refining micro polish, a super fine polish that gently exfoliates with plant jojoba beads. So you apply to damp face and neck, massage gently to exfoliate dead surface cells, rinse product off and pat dry, gentle enough to use daily. So this looks like it's a physical exfoliant. Usually I've been using chemical exfoliants because I prefer those, but it seems that these are going to be really, really fine exfoliants. So I'll give it a try. This is what the actual product looks like. Next we have the Wish Exfoliating Foot Mask and this one retails for $32. So this one is to exfoliate, polish, and renew your dry heels and feet with an exquisite foot mask. Remove stubborn calluses and dry skin while moisturizing and healing. Trade the pumice stones for the easy to use formula that will knock you off your feet. This smells really good because it's got coconut milk, so I really love the smell of coconut. I just recently used one of those acid foot peel masks on my feet, and they're gonna be peeling by themselves really soon, but I'll definitely get some use out of this later on in the summer. It smells really good. I did opt for a mystery item. When customizing, I did opt for a mystery item, and this one is by Dr. Brandt. It's a pore purifying cleanser. Honestly, anything with the word purifying scares me a little bit since I do have dry skin. This one says, take control of unsightly pores with ingredients that won't strip the skin. Well, that's good to know. Exfoliate with the power of salicylic acid to remove dead skin cells. Purify with tea tree oil for a smooth, clear complexion. And unclog pores with white willow bark. So as apply on damp skin to form a rich lather, that's good that it lathers. I prefer cleansers that lather. I've been getting so many cleansers in subscription boxes, but I will use them. I have a feeling that I got this in a boxy charm. The packaging looks a little bit different, but I have a feeling that I got this in a boxy charm before in a smaller size. I'll try it, but if it dries out my skin, I might pass it on to my daughter. She's more combination oily. Here's the next item. It's from Grace and Stella, and it is a rose spray. It says, mist four to five sprays onto face with eyes closed before or after makeup. I honestly do not enjoy the smell of rose at all. I like the smell of fresh roses, but rose in my products, I have a tendency to not prefer it. So my daughter might inherit this one as well. The retail price of this one is $25.95. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like it might have leaked a little bit. In any case, I think this is going to go to my daughter as well. I really I don't enjoy rose sprays. I tried the Mario Badescu spray and the rose and I just I don't like it so far we're not doing so well with this box this is the next item in my box two silicone wine glasses here's what those look like I was tempted to choose these because I picked like a picnic set from the spring box which I thought might go along really well with this it's just really nice travel friendly they're completely flexible the retail price of the glasses was $25 which I don't think it's $25, but I think they're fine. I do like it better than the alternatives. You could have chosen a necklace, which I don't like getting necklaces from FabFitFun. And the other thing was a sort of resistance band, but I already have something like that. I don't have anything like this, so I'm kind of happy with this. So far, this is actually the thing I like the most. Maybe the foot mask. I like the foot mask as well. Here we have the next item in the box. It is a purple mask. 
This is by the brand Generation Clay. It is the Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. Another mask. Apply an even layer to clean dry skin. Wait 10 minutes. When the mask starts to tighten, use water to rinse it off. So it's a rinse off mask and it is supposed to be brightening and illuminating. I will definitely try that. I'm glad that it says illuminating and brightening. I'll give this one a try. These I'll definitely use and enjoy. They are the Invisibobbles and you get I think six pieces. Some are clear and some are nude. I actually own a couple of these and I do enjoy them. So this is a great addition to the box. These retail for $16. This is something I definitely customized. I grabbed this really early on. As soon as customization opened, I selected this because I had a feeling it was gonna sell out. I absolutely love this. This retails I think for like $25. Yeah, it retails for $25 and I love it but I don't use it all the time because it's just it's very expensive so I'm glad I was able to get it in the box and you also get a smaller size of the bum bum cream this is the size that retails for $20 so altogether these were 45 which is really close to the price of the box at $49.95 and so all the other things are just a bonus I would have definitely purchased these myself I love these so this makes up the price of the box absolutely and so everything else is just a bonus I, I love these so much they're always in my empties the last item is from one 11 skin and this is another mask this is a rose gold brightening facial treatment mask different diminish fine lines and wrinkle enhance radiance rejuvenate and nourish reinforce and protect so has good claims I wonder if it's just one mask oh no you get several masks you get four masks here so that's good here are those I do enjoy face masks, so I will definitely enjoy trying these out. Actually, it's five masks. You get five of them, and the retail value of those is $160. I would have never bought five masks for $150. That is way too much money. But if it comes in a box with the Sol de Janeiro stuff, I'll take it. No makeup in this box this time around, but we got a lot of skincare. For me, the absolute best thing in the box, the Sol de Janeiro, hands down. If I had to choose a second favorite, I would have to go with the foot mask. I like keeping my feet looking nice since I like to wear sandals in the summer. So I think that this would be my second favorite item. And my least favorite would have to be this Pore Purifying Cleanser. I just don't think that this is going to be for me. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have a lot of pores, but this is my least favorite, and I'm just shocked at the retail value of these masks. Insane. I'll go ahead and add up all those totals, and I'll put it on the screen right here. I think the box is definitely worth $50. I think it was for me because of the Sol de Janeiro stuff this time around, but if you subscribe to FabFitFun and you got something different, let me know what you chose and how you're liking it, and also let me know if you think this was worth 50 bucks. Right now, I think so, despite the fact that there were quite a few products that were just not for me, like this rose spray, the purifying cleanser thing win some lose some that's everything for my video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to continue seeing these fat fit fun unboxings they're completely unsponsored as i mentioned i'm just a customer and it's kind of fun to share you know what you got with your friends so thank you again for joining me i hope you're having a lovely day and i look forward to seeing you again very very soon on my next one Bye bye <music>